Megan Elizabeth, founder and creator of the She Makes Club at SheMakes.club. And I wanted to show you this portion of a video that we did as a bonus to the Cut With Confidence Crash Course because I've had questions on how to take drawings and turn them into stickers. And it's so simple to do with your Cricut Design Space. Let's get started checking it out. This is a picture that Benson drew for me. Um, I was decided to play with it to do some print and cut images. So I re-took a picture of it, printed it back out, and then cut it out onto uh, more stable cardstock so that I could play with it and mess with it a little bit differently. You can see the colors are a little off on the print, but that's because of the paper more than anything. I digress. Anyway, so I didn't save or do anything as it's yet. You can see it still says untitled up at the top there. So when I go to save it, I can click the save button and then I can do a save and I'll do Benson's Pizza because that's something he drew. And then I'm gonna save it to the cloud. All right, so as soon as that says it's saved, it's saved to the cloud, it's good to go. So the way I did this, I'll show you how we, how we did this start to finish really quick um, before we dive into our pineapple. And you can use the PNG that I uploaded here inside the Facebook group, but the SVGs already have the background removed from them and they are available um, in the Cut With Confidence course group. Okay, so we're going to, let me just turn this a little bit. I think that's okay. All right, let's start over. <clears throat> so I'll click home and new project and we'll just replace it. Start with a brand new project as if we haven't done anything with this yet. Let's say we want to upload this image. We want, we want to cut this out. I'm going to do take a photo. You can upload from files that are already on your device or from other places, from your files, um, or open other uploaded images that you may have done. But let's go ahead and just start by saying take a photo. You can take a photo right from inside Design Space. And I'm just going to line it up the best I can and snap that picture. Okay, so I snapped the picture using that. Sorry if it was off the screen a little bit there, but hopefully this makes sense. So we're gonna use that photo. Now, this is my little uh, screen to show me what um, it's going to look like. And this is going to be a print and cut image, not just a cutout. Uh, and the other thing that I'm going to say with this is it's a little trickier because it is on lined notebook paper versus just plain printer paper. So you have to do a little tiny bit more work with it, but it's not too bad. The Cricut's pretty smart to help you out. So I'm gonna click on the remove tool in the lower left, and I'm just going to tap on the areas where the white notebook paper is until it has kind of those white and gray check marks uh, kind of going through and you'll see it's kind of removing uh, all but the lines of the notebook paper as it goes, which is okay. You just have to make a couple, couple clicks, a couple adjustments. Just sort of going around to figure out where it needs to remove and where it doesn't. <clears throat> and then one of the things that I'm going to do for this is crop this down so it doesn't say the to Ben or from Ben to mom. Um, so I'm just going to, whoops, not grab up there. Going to grab the crop box and I'm just going to drag it. Oh my goodness, that's like way up there, right? Drag it down so that it's really close to the edge of where just the drawing of the pizza is. And that'll be less space that I have to remove anything from. So where there's kind of some of this like darker lines and stuff, I'm just gonna take the eraser and I'm going to remove all of those lines myself just utilizing the eraser tool. You don't have to get too, too picky with it, but I got to get it nice and clean like this is, you can see there's still like the lines through the glasses and some of those places. It's a pretty clean image though, for the most part. And then I'll just remove all of that around here so any place that I just wanna remove some of those lines or get it cleaned up, I can do that. You can also drag and move the screen here because you can see there's like this black area up here. It's because all of that notebook paper is still there. So I just move that over so that I can get to where I want to remove those lines to clean it up. And I just go right along to remove those notebook paper lines and you'll see them disappear in your preview screen also. 
So again, you can shrink the size of your eraser just by using that little bar and cleaning up anything that you just don't want to have be part of your design or to be cut out or printed out. It makes it really, really easy to remove. Now, if he would have drawn this on like regular cardstock, we wouldn't have to do anything like that because he did a really great clean image, um, which he's been really into doing a lot lately. So I just thought it would be fun to show him, hey, look, we cut it out with the Cricut or printed it out with the Cricut. So clean it up as much as you want. And then click next. And you can uh, smooth it out by sm like some of the lines just by clicking the smooth and it'll start rounding and, and placing some of those things out a little bit better. And then you save it. You can save it as just a cut image. It'll just cut out the outline or you can do a print and cut and it's Ben's Pizza. So I'll just put that in there again, even though we saved it once. It'll save it to my uploaded images for me. And I'm able to then do a insert and then I can print and cut this. So I can make it any size I want. Let's just say we want to make it, I don't know, three inches, a little smaller than this guy here. We can click the make it now button. And then from here, I'm going to click on these green letters and we're going to add um, a couple to it. Let's just say we want to do three of them. It'll think about it and it'll add all three to my project. So then I'll click print. And I'm going to change the printer. This is just my own personal thing. I have two printers here. I love the Canon um, Pixma. Is it Pixma? P-I-X-M-A, I think. Uh, printer. This is the MG5400 series. I absolutely love it for printing pictures and print and cut things. It really prints on Whisper White cardstock really well. Um, it's getting low on ink, but I actually just bought some uh, economy savers. So if you guys have any questions about anything that I just did here, let me know. Um, once that finishes printing, I can click continue and it will uh, bring this up onto the settings mat to actually be able to print it out. So for this, I actually have it that it's printing the sticker paper. So I usually use the matte vinyl setting when I do the sticker paper. Um, I have some custom settings, but just for quick ease, that one seems to work really well. So I'll just set it to that because they're really thin um, labels. And then I will start uh, cutting that out. Show you really quick. We'll line it up in the upper left-hand corner. Print and cut only works with your Cricut Maker. It does not work with the Joy. So um, you can see, you know, there's some of those lines there. There's a little bit of a bleed, so it's a little thicker. But the Cricut goes around them pretty smoothly, so I don't worry about getting too, too detailed. It's just fun for the kids, especially uh, if you want to do something like this to make custom stickers or whatever it would be with your kids, their artwork or grandkids. Um, it's a really easy way to do that or something that maybe you would want to hand draw. Just snapping that picture uploading it and then doing that you can do that as well uh yes the cricut sticker paper is great there is a setting in there for cricut sticker paper that is not what i'm using for this but i highly recommend using either the cricut or the silhouette sticker paper both are great and yes i will darken the ipad screen to go back so this is the uh, silhouette printable adhesive cardstock and then this is the cricut Principal sticker paper. I have both of them in the Amazon shop. Um, I have a, all of my favorites that I recommend most are in there. So I'll show you, I'll leave a link for that real quick. Amazon.com slash shop slash by Megan Elizabeth. I use a combination of those, those things. And then also just using Avery sticker sheets can work really well also. Um, the, like the address sheets. Just make sure they're full sheets because I made the mistake of trying to print on quarter sheet stickers not realizing and that made a mess. All right, so now I'm just gonna take this over to the machine. I'm gonna load it in. The way I reset up my craft room, it's literally like right over there and I'm like, I couldn't figure out how to give myself enough space to do that, the whole thing all over again. So unloading this cut through and it made three separate cutouts of Benson's little 
little pizza dude, which I think is super cute. Like his drawings have been pretty phenomenal recently and he loves doing it. So I think it'd be fun for each one of the kids to have a sticker of Benson's little drawing. I probably should have just done four and filled up the whole page. That way it would have not wasted anything, but alas. So I'm going to remove, I'm going to leave the sticker sheet in place and I'm going to kind of just weed it like I would anything else. And that way each kid can grab a sticker when they're ready to place it on something. They're pretty cute, right? It's a great feature. So again, I just want to clarify um, the, the print and cut feature is for using with the Cricut Maker. Um, it's not going to work to use it with your, with your Joy. At this time, it doesn't have the sensors or the features to be able to do that. Um, but since I, you know, I got questions on it and how to use it and uploading an image like that, I want it to be able to show you. Uh, you can also do similar types of things where you can upload a picture of, like, let's say it's a picture of your grandkids and you want to see, um, you want to put that on there. You can put a print and cut on there and then cut a shape around it. So you can do a lot of different things and we can get into some more advanced things. We talk about some of that inside the She Makes Club, which I know many of you are not, um, members of the monthly She Makes Club yet, but I would love to invite you over to do that as well. Uh, because we do try to cover more and more and every month we do a workshop and creative hangout and we talk about specific um, journaling prompts to really make a life that you love and remember the moments and process through the life that we're living so yes an inside artist for a sticker shop I sure do okay thanks so much for watching I hope you'll follow along and subscribe have an awesome day enjoy the moments